Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to Skygate's first top 10. This week it's cartoon characters. In at number 10 we have everyone's favourite psychopath, the Joker. Mark Hamill was the only cast member allowed to perform his Joker voice while standing to make it easier to infuse the character with the manic energy the role requires. Now, what is everyone in town talking about? In at number 9, he lives in a pineapple under the sea, it's SpongeBob SquarePants. The creator of SpongeBob is a marine biologist and presented his idea for the show to Nickelodeon by bringing them a fish tank and explaining what was living inside. He then placed a cartoon drawing of SpongeBob into the tank and said, This is SpongeBob. The star of your new show. Yeah. In at number 8, it's the rabbit that keeps us laughing, Bugs Bunny. As of January 2013, Bugs Bunny has appeared in more films than any other cartoon character. He is also the ninth most portrayed film personality in the world. Here, Doc. Try the heavy artillery. Scooby Doo, where are you? You're in at number 7. Character designer Mr. Takamoto went to a dog breeding colleague at the studio for advice on what elements made up a prize winning Great Dane. He then proceeded to break every rule in his design of Scooby. Very rule? <laughs> in at number 6, it's the ruler of Disney World, Mickey Mouse. Mickey Mouse only has 4 fingers. Disney believed 5 fingers were too many for a mouse. Okay, that sort of makes sense. It was also to save the company money on all that ink. And at number 5, it's that silly cat and wise mouse, Tom and Jerry. In the 60s, the cartoons were made in Czechoslovakia. The 13 Czech episodes were very different in tone, with harder edged violence, eerie echoing sound effects, and an often surreal atmosphere that continues to divide opinion to this day. Let me have it! Kamehameha! In a number 4, it's the Super Saiyan, Goku. The fight between Goku and Freezer took up a total of 3.5 hours of screen time, making it the longest fight in anime history. In at number 3, it's that Pokemon Master wannabe, Ash. Ash's starter Pokemon was going to be Clear Fairy, but was swapped for Pikachu to make it appealing for boys and girls alike. In at number 2, it's our favourite yellow dad, Homer Simpson. If you take a closer look at Homer's ear, it spells out MG, which is the initials of the creator, Matt Groening. Oh, oh boy, oh that was cold. And finally, in at number 1, yabba dabba do, it's Fred Flintstone. Originally, Fred was to regularly shout Yahoo to express his excitement. Alan Reed felt that Yahoo was too ordinary and weak. An improvising meeting resulted in the creation of Fred Flintstone's trademark catchphrase, Yabba Dabba Doo. Now don't talk, don't worry, we'll make it. Well, that's all, folks. Please like and subscribe, and remember to come back next week for another Skygate Top 10.